Okay, this is Flat Stanley's cousin. Right? <laughs> Flat Stanley, the original, is this guy with the blood vessels on it. You'll see it next semester, right? But this is a newer version, so this is his cousin that came in. This just shows an overview of the system, right? We're going to talk about next week the brain and its components, cerebrum, cerebellum, brain stem. Okay? Here's the spinal cord. And somewhere around L1, L2, it ends. Conus medullaris continues down as the cauda equina. Here's those intercostal nerves that we were talking about earlier. We saw them on the other model. All of the spinal nerves, what we saw here, all of the spinal nerves, they would be the very, very short little connections running right along the spinal cord. Okay. Those would be the spinal nerves. Now, all these other yellow structures, as we said earlier, represent peripheral nerves, and each one has its own specific name. We're not gonna go into those specific names right now, but we did point this one out when we did the muscles. This was the big sciatic nerve over here. I think that's easy to identify. The purpose and the kind of flow of information is like so. Let's use the, the hand, okay? So you touch the fingertip. The brain wants to know what's going on. So we saw earlier sensor receptors are going to pick up that data, and now that data needs to get to here. So the peripheral nerves in the spinal cord serve that purpose. The spinal cord is the superhighway, right? It's like 495, Long Island Express, right? This we're gonna say is in Manhattan, all right? So that information needs to get to Manhattan. Manhattan's going to analyze and determine the importance of it, right? Because all the greatest minds are in Manhattan. So this is a neighborhood. Right? Maybe this is Nassau Community College right here. Right? So if you needed to get from Nassau Community College to Manhattan, you would follow a local road. Hopefully there wouldn't be traffic. You'd get to the proper entrance ramp to the Long Island Expressway. You'd hop on, get in the HOV lane, even though it's illegal, and you'd <laughs> drive right to Manhattan. Once you're in Manhattan, after you're done partying, I mean, analyzing data, you're going to leave, pretty much come back to the same ramp, which now becomes the exit ramp, and you're gonna follow the local roads back to NASA Community College and share all of your information with us, right? So that's the purpose. Peripheral nerves are the local roadways from the different neighborhoods that bring data to the court, and each Neighborhood has its own entrance ramp. That would be the spinal nerve. Goes on to the superhighway, to the brain. Brain analyzes, and then it's gonna send signals out. Maybe the signal is gonna go right back to the original point where the sensory data came from. So it would follow the same exit ramp. Maybe, in the case of someone touching something hot, and we wanna pull the arm away, Maybe signals need to go to the biceps brachii or the triceps brachii or to the deltoid. Maybe they utilize a slightly different exit ramp. Maybe this exit ramp goes to the muscles here in the antibrachium. Maybe this exit ramp uses the muscles here in the shoulder. But either way, information in, analysis, and then information out to the proper structures to perform the command.